Hello, today we're going to learn about collage. Hello, my name is Cameron Peterson. I work here at the Rourke Art Gallery Museum as an exhibition coordinator and uh, facilities management. And I also, with my partner Nettie, uh, own Funhouse Press. Uh, today collages are like one of the more fun pieces and um, you can get a little bit more expressive with it and um, materials you need are everyday materials like um, uh, you can use cloth, you can use uh, old newspapers, you can use books, you can use uh, cardboard or masonite if you have boards laying around you can collage to that. Um, this, this collage is actually made from a pop box. Um, so to begin a collage what you want to do is to get your design down first about what you're going to do so you have a better idea of what you're doing. And one way of doing that is just going for it and letting your collage grow organically. And another way of doing that is, is drawing your design on whatever surface you're gluing it to. And so then you can kind of follow it with your color. And the other is just to lay out a pattern of, uh, and get it all formulated before you glue anything down. And so, if you do this way and you already have your plate size and you've laid it all out, a nice way to make sure it kind of stays in place is you just take another board and you lift it up, you flip it over, and then you paste everything backwards back onto your piece. Now there's some prep with different boards that you use on some different adhesives. Uh, this is a, a stick glue and it works fairly well and your paper won't wrinkle but over time it will eventually start peeling off of where it came from if you didn't seal it with a different sealer. Um, we have gloss polymer medium which works great and clears great and then we have yes paste that clears and then Elmer's glue and for this example I'm going to use Elmer's glue. This method also has a little bit of a downfall is if you're using really light paper it will uh, some of it will tend to wrinkle but I don't mind I kind of like the wrinkly design within the design uh, and so what this is it's not just Elmer's glue it's Elmer's glue mixed about 60-40 with water and to prep a plate uh, our cardboard plate you need to put it on one side and let it dry and then work on the other side so you kind of have it covered so that when you're getting the one side moist it stops it from pulling up and so and actually I'll mention some other preps too because like on a masonite board you need to prep it with like a, an acrylic gel, uh, an acrylic uh, ground because if you don't it just kind of you can see it just stayed together and fell apart but for most of this the glue will work for map board or pop or pop boxes and cardboard and so to get started I'm just going to wet the whole surface with my glue mixture. And then I'm going to peel my first layer that I have down and stick it to the plate. And then I'm going to go just a little bit over that with the glue. 
And when you're using cardboard or mat board and stuff, this water mixture works really good and fast. Um, when you're using the water mixture, do not, uh, you have to let it dry naturally because if you don't let it dry naturally and you try to use a heat gun on the surface, it just dries the glue to the surface and pulls the rest of your stuff up. And with this, what I'm doing right now is, is um, if your glue mixture is a little too thick, you might end up with, that's another good thing that the water does. It kind of levels out the glue so you don't get brush marks in your collage. If you're going to use fabric, um, what I would do is actually, I would actually just soak the fabric in, in the, mixture and then spread it around oh but I'm not going to put it on there but that's what you would do if you're using fabric um Collages are good for many things. A, they can be just a collage. Or B, um, printmakers use it and then the word collage turns into collagraph, but they use it to actually print on. And so, and they can print on it two ways. Like with this one, you could print it like a reduction and just roll the ink on top. And then you, the heart would pick up and you would get like this weird random halo and then the corners would pick up on each of those sides. And then otherwise you can print in Taglio style, which uh, you would get a very loose ink and you'd rub it over the plate and then you'd rub the excess ink off and that's when like the wrinkles and stuff come into play and you can hook it on there and hook all these, uh, catch all these, like if you tear it, it will be nice and it will show these tears once you wipe it. Uh, another thing is with the, the glue mixture, uh, you could also put acrylic paint in it to give it kind of a varnish look like I did with this dark blue and this pink up here. Um, and I'm gonna show you one more different technique that um, you can use for transfers. I just uh, came across this myself 
And um, it's, it's really nice and it's to do a transfer on your collage. And so you just take packing tape Just take packing tape. And you can put it on the top of your image. And try not to get any wrinkles in it when you get on the top of the image. And once you get it taped down, you peel the whole image up, soak it in water, And then what, after, what you do after that is you put it face down on the table and you gently rub the fibers from the back of the paper off of it. And it works really good with newspaper clippings and, uh, and uh, newsprint medium basically. But you just keep on wiping. And so you can see the more I wipe, the more translucent it gets, but yet the ink stays there. But if you wipe it too hard, the ink will come off with it. But like here is a finished example that I wiped a little bit too hard on P, but it makes a nice like transparent overlook to whatever you're doing. And another thing with collages too is since it is all cutouts from newspapers, you can mess with fonts and put words on it if you want or turn it into a haiku if you want. Uh, collages are just very fun. Be creative. Thank you very much.